Okay, went ahead and finished the wrappings in the front. I uh, did some extra wraps in that gap between the foreshaft and the main shaft just to level it out. The glue is pretty dry. There's two layers of thread there. I uh, did the backs also, three layers of thread. And I went ahead and uh, decreased the depth of these knocks. I just sanded these down to make this depth a little less. Uh, I think I've got a little over a quarter inch now for the depth of those knocks, which looks a lot better. And um, since it's kind of windy, I went ahead and fletched this off camera. Now it's still in a preliminary stage. But I just want to show you how I did this or explain to explain how I did it. I'll probably do this whole thing in a different video when it's less windy. But what I did first is I, I laid out some marks. And I usually end the fletch on this type of arrow. I end the fletch about an uh, inch away from the back. And the front part very front of the fletchings is six inches, roughly six inches from the, from the back of the arrow. In this case it's about five and three quarter. So, uh, and I made another mark where this wrapping is too. You can't really see it. So the total length of the fletching is about four and a half or four and a quarter which is adequate, very adequate. Yeah, about four and a quarter. And I just did a spiral, spiral wrap on it. And I want to show you how this can be adjusted. Um, I went ahead and pulled the cock feather tight. But you can see the other feathers are not quite lined up. And what the spiral wrap allows you to do is make adjustments. And then you pull tight to straighten it. So you can make fine tune adjustments while the, the wrapping is not glued down. Now there's a. I need to move the back end of this, this feather back uh, closer to this even it out. I think I pulled a little too hard on the back end here and might have snapped some of that or broke some of that quill but that's fine. It'll I'll be able to glue that down later. And this one needs to be moved here also. And I just eyeball this. When I think it's good I'll just stretch it out. Make some more fine-tuned adjustments. The thread holds it down. But since it's not glued down, I can make adjustments to it. Again, I just pull the back end, make it straighter. And if there's any weird areas in the fletch, I can kind of correct by just moving the, uh, the main part of the vein here. Let's see, we show you. Now, on the back of the feather, let's see if I can explain this. The way I see it, the back of the feather curves this way. The front of the feather needs to be going the opposite way. So I just want to check that part. The, cur the curve is going that way. The front has needs to be going the opposite way. You know, slightly angled. So it'll spin properly. Let's zoom out here. Maybe it'll look better from a 
distance. And these are, this is just peeled fletchings and with a preliminary cut so it'd be easier to do the spiral wrap and uh, after I glue these down I'm going to run a bead of glue along the thread and along the edge of that vein and uh, on all the wrapping I'll just brush on the glue with a paintbrush See if I can find the paintbrush here. Okay. I just uh, brush on the glue right over the, the top of the thread and right up on the veins and on all the wrapping. But I'll show that in a different video when it's not so windy. Uh, for now, I just want to get this part done and upload it so you guys can see. And after everything's glued down and dry, I'll do the final trimming on the on the feathers. And this front part will be wrapped down with a single layer, nice and flat. Right now, it's it's not even glued down; it's just wrapped on itself. Same with this here. There's no glue on it at all at any point. So it allows me to make adjustments. You see how easily it moves. And all I did was I peeled these feathers off. There's no, I didn't trim any of that membrane. It's all still on there from the original feather. When I put glue on there, that'll hold it down really well. I do the same with all my arrows now. It just keeps it simple. Unless I'm doing a reproduction, I use the same fletching, te fletching technique for all my arrows. Okay, that's it.